Hey guys, other boy reactions here. All right, so we're hopping back into Doctor Who. Um, last episode was not my favorite, um, and that is all I'm gonna say about it <laughs> because I'm gonna try and put it behind me and um, try and forget it ever even happened. Um, that being said, let's jump right into Doctor Who. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I hope this is a better um, uh, situation for Martha, and yeah, let's get into it. Alright, this is Doctor Who, Season 3, Episode 3, Gridlock. It's all your fault. You lied at the computer. You said that what's the rate of us? You told us the rate. Where is it? 36 degrees, and it's blue sky all the way home. Oh this my god. This is Sally Glimpse signing off. Missing you already. A different planet. Oh my god. Uh, no. Ah, plenty of other places. Oh my Come god. On, I mean, planet of the Time Lords. That's got to be worth it. She just hits every That's sore like. spot for him. Well, it's beautiful, yeah. Shining under the twin suns. Beyond that, the mountains go on forever. Slopes of deep red grass. Mm. Capped with snow. Can we go there? Nah, where's the fun for me? I don't want to go home. And we're slap bang in the middle of New New York. Although oh technically it's 15th New York since the original, so it's New 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 York. One of the most dazzling cities ever built. We say last time was that you and Rose. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. You're taking me to the same planet that you took her. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Rebound. Rebound. Right. I want to buy forget. I've got forget, my darling. Damn. How much you want forget? Oh my god. My mother and father. They went on the motorway. Oh my god. Oh, that's a swain. What? I've lost them. The fuck? They can't have gone far. You could find them. No, 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 don't. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Oh my god. Your mother and father. They're on the motorway. Are they? That's nice. Oh my god. So that's the human race five billion years in the future. Yeah, I. Their heads on chemicals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, ah! I'm really, really sorry. We just need three. That's no, 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 no. Who the fuck are you? No, 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 no. What's wrong with I can help. Pump the bunch. We can help. But first, you've got to let her go. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just me. Fuck you. That's it. Come on. Oh my god. Fuck. Cash up, close down, and pack your bags. Why is that then? Because as soon as I found her alive and well, and I will find her alive and well, then I'm coming back. And this street is closing tonight. And I swear we're sorry. We're really, really sorry. We just needed access to the fast lane, but I promise, as soon as we arrive, we'll drop you off, and you can go back and find your friend. Seriously, I, I swear. Look, nope. honesty patch. Honesty patch. <laughs> 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 That's why it takes six years because of the fucking traffic. Oh my god. It's basically LA. <laughs> You've been driving for two months. Do I look like a teenager? We've been driving for 12 years now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Feels like 12 years to me. Stop. Stop. 12 years? How far did you come? Where did you start? Battery Park. It's five miles back. You travelled five miles. It's not worth years. it. I think he's a bit slow. Muscle stimulants for exercise and there's a chemical toilet at the back and all waste products are recycled as food. Ew! Okay. What? Oh, ah. This is brilliant. Ah. 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 Thank you for your call. You have been placed on hold. You're the police. Thank you for your call. <laughs> You You're the police. police. Yeah, that's how it is. Was she carjacked by two people? Yes, she was, yeah. There we are. Just one of those cars was destined for the fast lane, and that means they had three on board, and the car number is 465 Diamond 6. That's it, so how do we find them? Ah, well, there I'm afraid I can't help. What if there's no help coming? Not ever. Mm -hmm. What if there's nothing? Just the motorway. Cars going round and round and round and round, never stopping. Oh so, my shut god. Up. Just shut up! The sun is blazing high in the sky over the new Atlantic. 
You're lying. The perfect setting for the daily contemplation. I think you know us so well, Doctor. We are not abandoned. Not while we have each other. This is for all of you out there on the roads. We're so sorry. Drive safe. We're so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Busy showing off. Mm. And I lied to her. Couldn't help but just lied. Bye then. There's something else out there in the fog. Can't you hear it? That's the airbase. Oh, shut up, Milo. Yes. What the fuck is that? Like crabs. Macra. They're fucking crabs. Turn everything off. <laughs> but listen, it's all fog out there, so how can they see us? Maybe it's the engine, the sound, or the heat, or the light. I don't know. Turn everything off. They might not be able to find us. What is it wrong? Build up a small empire using humans as slaves and mining gas for food. They don't exactly mm. look like empire builders to me. Well, it was billions of years ago. Billions, they must have devolved down the years. Now they're just beasts. All of them. Everyone, what happened? A new chemical. A new mood. Oh my god. They called it Blitz. Oh fuck. Everyone tried it. They couldn't stop. A virus mutated inside the compound and became airborne. Everything perished, even the virus in the end. It killed the world in seven minutes flat. So he saved them. The face of Bo wired himself into the mainframe. He's giving his life force just to keep things running. Are you and him? Sometimes I think he likes me, but sometimes I just think he needs someone with him. If I died here, they'd never know. So, um, who is he then? This doctor? I don't know. Well, not really. There's so much he never says. Honestly, just trust me, both of you. You've got your faith, you've got your songs and your hymns, and I've got the doctor. Car 465 down in 6 is still registers. That's Martha. Ah! I give you my last. Hey, look after him! Don't you go dying on me, you big old face! You gotta see this! The open road! Everyone drive up. Right now. Is he serious? I've opened the roof of the motorway, come on. Right. <laughs> Throttle those engines, drive up. Okay. All of the whole under city, drive up, drive up, Here we go. drive up, back. You've got to clear that fast lane. Drive up and get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that's the sky, the real sky. He did it. It says that the face of Bo will speak his final secret to a traveler. Yeah, but not yet. Who needs secrets, eh? You are not. Alone. He said last of your kind. What does that mean? It really doesn't matter. You don't talk. You never say. Why not? It's the city. They're singing. I lied to you. Because I liked it. I could pretend. Just for a bit, I could imagine they were still alive. Underneath a burnt orange sky. I'm not just a time lord. I'm the last of the time lords. Face of Bob is wrong, there's no one else. What happened?
there was a war. A time war. The last great time war. My people fought a race called the Daleks for the sake of all creation. And they lost. They lost. The second sun would rise in the south and the mountains would shine. The leaves on the trees were silver. When they caught the light every morning, it looked like a forest on fire. Very interesting episode. Um. <laughs> oh, what a crazy show. But um, there are so many different messages in this episode. So many different metaphors. Um, you know, the biggest one kind of being, you know, you know, this motorway and everyone waiting in line um, for years. You know, obviously on the surface that, you know, is like <laughs> real traffic, how it feels like, you know, you're just sitting there waiting. Um, but also it's a metaphor for... Um, but all of it was a metaphor for heaven, almost, because, or whatever you believe in, afterlife, um, because the doctor kept saying, you know, what if there's no one out there? What if there's no one coming? There's no one looking out for us? You know, in their case, they were talking about the police, the government, um, every like, all the officials. There's no one looking out for you. Um, but that's a metaphor for, like, how a lot of us feel. Like, what if there is nothing out there? What if there is no God? What if there's nothing? Um, no one looking out for us. And we're just alone here. We've just been left here. Um, and also, you know, you can spend all your time, um, I mean, this, like, this kind of pertains to people who are really religious um and you know you can spend all your time trying to you know get into heaven or whatever and um you know but you're not really living or you know you can spend all your time trying to get to paradise or or hoping that that you're you'll get to you know um you know the grass is always greener on the other side and it's like chasing this pipe dream when, you know, almost like what you have right in front of you is what you should be appreciating. Um, like them in, in this episode, they spent, some of them spent 23 years, 24 years, um, I mean, in my, in my mind, kind of wasting their lives. I mean, they were and they weren't because, you know, like some of them started ha having families and, you know, even though they were waiting, um, but they're just like on this conveyor belt, on this, um, not, yeah, not living when they could have been if they had just appreciated what was right there in front of them. They kept trying to get to a better part of the city, right? Or like a new... Yeah, like in their in their eyes, paradise was like. I think another part of of the city that um, you know where the air was fresh and the grass was green and and there was enough jobs and um, you know it was instead of just what was right above them, you know what, what was right in front of them, um, they kept trying to look for something better, and that's what we always do. As humans, we always try to look for the next best thing instead of just appreciating what we have in the moment. Um, and because that's, this is paradise. This is like, maybe there, maybe there is, you know, paradise. Maybe there is heaven. Maybe there is afterlife. But it doesn't matter because you're here right now. Um, I, I, that's what I took from this episode. Um. It was a very creative way of doing that. Um, I also thought it was interesting. Another message was, you know, this obsession with 
or this need to to have certain emotions and um you know in their case what they were selling were um were you know they're selling happy and anger and um you know i can see that happening like i can see in the future you know society becoming so you know using drugs um to numb themselves so that they don't feel because they've been hurt but then at the same time um at some point they're going to want to feel because it's natural for us to feel emotion so um there probably will be you know new drugs that make you feel certain emotions so that you can feel it'll, it'll be artificial um and because at some point people won't be able to feel anymore um because they're so numb they've shut off all their emotions but um also in this was that woman who didn't want to feel and that is where i feel we are right now today <laughs> there's so many people who don't want to feel anything they don't want to remember traumatic events they don't want to um you know, they just want to erase it from their minds. If if a drug like that, hap you know, was developed where it could erase your memory of traumatic events, I'm sure there would be a lot of people who would take that. Um, but there would be consequences to that, too. There, there are always consequences. I wonder what the face of Bo meant. Um, he couldn't have just meant... He had to mean... Maybe that means there's there are other Time Lords out there. Um, because how could he be the last one and how did he survive anyway? We've never heard that story. Um, so anything is possible. Um, and he wouldn't have said that. I mean, he's supposed to be so wise and that's what he tells the doctor. Like, it almost sounds like nothing. It almost sounds like, well, where's, you know, where's the fucking secret? Like, you lied to me, face of both. <laughs> But, so, it has to mean something. It has to mean that there are others like him out there. Um, I really want to see a flashback of that great time war. Because I want to know how he escaped. It would just be very interesting. I want to see his family. I want to see what other Time Lords look like. That's probably coming. Probably, maybe this season. Because why would they foreshadow something like that? Um... So, did so that woman supposedly gave birth to kittens because why wouldn't they be like hybrid cat babies? She just gives birth to a litter of kittens. That's funny. Um, I wonder what these people think when they they get the script and they see what their character is like. You know, even the government, uh, the Senate, uh, getting addicted to you know, the bliss drug, that, that, um, was very interesting, but, but that had consequences too, because, first of all, you're not supposed to have that much of one thing, but also, um, I mean, there are consequences to everything, like, it's, it's a very interesting episode. Um, the macra, I thought it could have been I thought there could have been better um, creatures, but... And he said that they devolved. I wonder what they looked like before. I can't believe... Um, those All those people were waiting years on that motorway. I mean, that's just like in life. Like, waiting for something great to happen when we should just be making it happen ourselves. Um, they had the power to change their lives all this time, but, um, well, it also had to do with, <clears throat> with rules and, and laws and, um, you know, breaking the rules because they're they, like Milo and Sheen kept saying, oh, you can't do that. Like, we can't do this. We can't do it. We're not allowed to. It's like, um, yeah, and the doc meanwhile the doctor disregarded all of that because he 
he had something at stake, you know? Um, and plus it's not in his nature to just go along with what the rules are. Um, and that's another message to, you can't always follow the rules. You have to make your own rules sometimes. Um, sometimes. <laughs> um, but, you know, as long as it doesn't involve hurting people or cheating people. But, um, um, you know, Russell T. Davies rarely disappoints when he writes an episode. He always makes you think. And there are some other writers on here who do not do that <laughs> as much. Um, but, you know, it was a decent episode. It was it was fun. Um, something I needed after that last episode, because I needed to get excited about it again, because I was not happy <laughs> with that last episode. Um, but it's sad to see the face of Bo go... Bogo. Um, sad to see him go. He said we would see him one last time. So I'm glad we did. Um, I'm glad Martha um, is so curious. She's always asking questions. Um, and she's very perceptive and and intuitive. And she can tell you know, um, when the doctor is not telling the whole truth and like, you know, she wants, I mean, even though technically they're only, this was supposed to be their last trip, um, you know, that's not going to happen. Um, but you know, she wants to get to know him. She, I like that about her. Um, and he needs, he needed to to talk about his home and his people and because he keeps that in all the time um he he barely even said anything to rose about his people um but i like that that martha you know pushes him um oh yeah the the couple at the beginning the older couple who was dressed like the american gothic um painting like why like wh like wh what was that i don't understand why was that just because um like why why <laughs> i don't understand why they chose to make them dress like that um i couldn't figure that out or if it was there wasn't a reason maybe it was just because russell c davis thought it was funny um but yeah like if, if anyone knows like Tell me in the comments, because I thought that was so strange. Um, and also, um, they it was interesting that they thought... Um, they thought almost that they were being punished because um, they, they told, you know... They logged in that they had three people um, when they were lying. So they thought they were being punished for lying almost. Um, when really they weren't. It was just, you like even like it. What it didn't matter. Maybe that's the point. Um, like that bad things happen whether, like, whether you lie or not. Like like bad things just happen. Like shit happens. Um, because everyone was was gonna die potentially. Um, you know, if they got in the fast lane. Um, interesting. And were they supposed to be the parents of that girl? Or was that totally unrelated? I mean, it's probably not important, but I was just curious. Um, mm, I think, th yeah, I mean, I don't know why they're dressed that way, but I do feel like that was a message that... Yeah, they really thought that they were being punished because something bad was happening to them. Um, when And that's probably a metaphor for, for us as humans, you know, whenever something bad happens in our life, um, we always ask why 
it happened? Like, why is this happening to me? Um, you know, what did I do to deserve this? Um, and when there is no answer, um, and it's not, it's not that, at least I don't think that it's, um, it's not because there's no one out there. Um, cause I believe that there's something. It's not that it's because whoever is out there doesn't punish. Um, I mean, I'm probably, I mean, I mean, I'm probably reaching, but it, it, I'm, there's some, there's something in, there's something in what happened to that first couple. There, there, there's a meaning in there. I know there is. Um, and I, yeah, I really feel like it's that. I feel like we set all these like made up rules for ourselves, um, or religion does. Um, and it's like, if you step out of line, um, you know, they tell you, like, you'll be punished for certain things. And it's, um, I don't know, when really there's no explanation for bad things that happen, for tragedies, you know, um, because it happens to everyone. Bad things happen to everyone, whether you're good, whether you're good or a bad person. It doesn't matter. It, I mean, it just, things just happen. Um, I don't know. That's what I took from this episode. I thought it was very interesting. Um, but yeah, <laughs> um, that was Doctor Who. Um, I'm glad to be back watching it. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like full reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye. Can't tell you why.